Hey guys, it's Friday here, and I thought I'd try to end the week by seeing if I could get spark on this CB125 project bike that I've been working on. So what I've got here is a jump pad from my car, and I've got the positive leading up here into the, um, the main power lead for the coil, and I've got the ground wire um, attached to the fins. Um, the astute among you will know that the CP125 is a 6 volt system and the jump pack is a 12 volt um, which would fry all the light bulbs etc. The coil can actually take it. I've run a um, 12 volt system on the, the stock coil and it's been fine but anyway I'm, I'm just uh, powering the coil alone and the power is not going through the main coil and um, I did have to clean up the points a little bit. They're they're pretty rusty, as you can see. Um, but I did clean up the um, the actual um, contact area. And so let's give this a try. Um, power on. Certainly don't want to leave 12 volts charging into that coil. And I'll try to kickstart this with one one hand. Not sure if you're able to see that, but there is definitely spark. Um, looks like a nice, strong blue spark. Switch this off. So, that's pretty cool. So we have spark. Um, so onward and upward. I guess the next thing is to get the carburetor hooked up and get some fuel in there and see if we can get it started. Um, I've run into a little bit of a compatibility issue. This is the, the stock air box that came with this, um, so I think it's like a 75 CB125. This carb came from my parts bike, which I think is like an 83 or an 84 CB125. And the um, inlet of the carburetor uh, is a larger diameter than this, um, the uh, air box, uh, the, the air tube here. So unfortunately those aren't working. So I'm gonna have to, I'm still, uh, I've still got the, the carb that came from the um, the bike originally so I'm cleaning that up and waiting for some rebuild parts uh, so as soon as that's here I should be able to uh, start it up or I might try to start it up with a little starter fluid we'll see there you go